build Full Boat's Edisto, the most versatile fishing kayak on the market. We got three bags. This one has our hull and our cross frames. This has our frame assembly. And this is our outrigger system for the fish and photo package. Fish and photo package comes with each Edisto. Just gonna lay out all my parts and pieces. Got the pair of foam seat, the stand on top board, sit on top seat, straps for my seat, cockpit nose frames. I've got three cross frames for the Edisto. Three, two, Outrigger pontoons for the fish and photo package. And my hole. My stern section, the bow, assembly bag. Got my labeled frame assembly pieces. The bow. Bow left. That's as if you were sitting in the center of the boat. So it'll be on your left hand side or the port side of the boat. Stern left. Bow right. Stern. So my bow keel piece. Drones extend. And right here. The stern piece is opposite. Bits in here are my washboards. Washboards for the open deck of the Edisto are three separate pieces that will end up attaching to each other to the top. All right, I'm going to build out the bow section of the frame assembly. I'm building out the bow section of the Edisto bow keel in, and the bottom piece, where it reads bow. I'm going to slip in this tongue and groove to build out the bottom section of the boat. Adding coordination, you go right in. That's it. These teardrop shapes, keyholes, fit over the ends of the screws for the bow keel in. Just like that. You want to make sure you have the right angle and they just drop down. It's the same for the left hand side and the right hand side. And the same for the bow and the stern. That's connected. I'm going to add in my number one cross frame to finish out the bow section. Start with the bottom frame plate and keyholes. Slip in these pieces. Get that out of the way. There. I'm going to do my left hand side or right hand side next. It locks into place. This thumb tab holds it into place once you get it inside of those keyholes. Now I'm going to snap in this launcher on. Make sure my Velcro pieces are facing up. And 
And that is the pre-assembly of the bow section of the frame. The stern section is going to be the same. So this is the completed pre-assembly of the bow section of the frame. I'm going to slip it inside of the skin. This front part of the bow slips inside the aluminum track inside the front of the skin. And simply push it towards the front of the skin and make sure to pull up on the sides. And then do the same with the stern. Okay, now I've got the bow pre-assembly and the stern pre-assembly of the frame inside the skin. And we're time to uh, attach the frames to each other and tension the skin. So it's this connection right here. Slip one side of the bow section into the stern section and on the frame plates simply push down. I'm going to hold my foot on it lightly, keep it in place and do the same with the left hand side and the right hand side. Now, these launder arms, I'm going to move the slide out of the way so we can then pull these close together to where they make a straight line and then run it back into place. Push them towards the center and then simply slide it back over both pieces. Now we're ready to add our second and middle cross frame. All right, it's cross frame number two. I'm going to add to the keyholes plate in the bottom. There, it's into place. Add it to the left hand side. And now the frame and the skin are almost complete. Just need to add the washboards. We're going to build out the washboards. The Edisto, you've got two washboards, one on each side of the cockpit, and there's three pieces to a washboard. They have simple color coding to help you line up which washboard fits into which. And on this end, We'll attach the green dots. Simply slide one end into the other and reattach the star bolt. Same with the blue end. The washboard attaches to the skin through this channel on the bottom of the washboard. Follow me down here. You can see where the rope coming through the top of the skin around the cockpit slides through that channel. It allows you to slide the washboard all the way around.
done with this so it doesn't slip out. And that you don't have anything holding you up along the edges of the cross frames. Or for instance, your shock cord into the front here. We'll remove it, make sure it's hanging free. And it pulls up till here. We'll do the same with the other side. ask how do we know which is the front or the bow section of the washboard and which is the back of the stern. Well, I've got these holes up here. I want them with the bow because that's where we're going to attach the outrigger system with the pontoons for the fish and photo package later. Now to attach the washboards to the frame of the boat is with our T-bolts and star knobs and we just simply work our way down the side of the boat, have these T-bolts push through the cross frame, okay, give a quarter turn, now fasten them, but you don't need to tighten them all the way, we want to have a little bit of flexibility as we go around the boat, and make sure that all of the Okay, now it's time to add the cockpit nose pieces. We have two for this model. Go on either end of the boat. They help hold the washboards in place and keep the right angle. This is for the bow. We'll do the same thing with the stern. Okay, at this point we can tighten up all the star knobs attaching the washboard to the cross frames and we'll inflate the sponsons. Alright, I'm finishing blowing up the sponsons on each side of the Edisto and then I'll install my seat. The air foam seat on the Edisto snaps in on the bottom frame. And I attach these pieces to the washboards and the back simply clicks in. You can tighten that and adjust the seat to move up and back as you prefer. For the air foam seat, the bottom section and the lumbar section inflate as well for your comfort. And this is the basic frame of the Edison. Next we'll add the fish and photo package. Two, one. 
All right, the fish and photo package that comes with the Edisto are the pontoons that will go in outriggers, the sit on top seat, the stand on top board, and in this package is the outrigger system. Our aluminum poles for outriggers. These are the ingenious devices that attach the pontoons to the outriggers. J bolts with star knobs attaches the whole system to the boat. So the outriggers find their middle piece. It'll have the colored dots on either end and two small holes in the middle. These are the pieces that attach to the washboards right here over these holes we found earlier. J bolt attaches like this and simply goes up through the middle of the outrigger system. And that tightens down to hold it in place. We'll do the same with the other side. Okay, tightened up the star knobs, and now the middle section of my outrigger system is attached to my boat. I'm going to go ahead and inflate the pontoons and have those attached to these pieces so we can attach those to the outriggers. Now this is all something you could do from sitting inside the boat. So if you paddle out to your destination, throw out an anchor, which comes with the fish and photo package, you can blow these up, put your middle piece, and assemble your outrigger system from where you are. Um, that's advisable if you have to paddle a long distance to get to where you want to fish. If you're not going very far, then you can go ahead and build this out on land, put it in the water, and paddle with the outriggers. So those are the two outriggers on the Edisto boat, which with the stability of the outriggers and the pontoons, we can add the stand on top seat and our sit on top board. This simply velcros in. a stable platform where we can stand in the boat or sit on top. And this is the Edisto with the fish and photo package. We love it.